So this is my attempt at hiding the shot. Essentially using, instead of automatic tracking, using gun sight mode and not using any hovering attacks. I'm primarily doing run-ins, more often with rockets, and guiding in vickers as I run in. Again, trying to minimize my time spent hovering and flying more like you do with a hind. Also quite tricky, it turns out, getting your pepper on target in some of these situations. And this is the first run at it. Not a threatening target at all. Just a BDR. But as you can see, my aim, or rather my stability in running in, isn't that amazingly great. And I managed to mismatch my rocket profiles. So instead of firing pairs of rockets, I'm firing singles. And running too close. Shows you how used to I am, you know, hiding it, really. And that's already damage. And gun rifle failure means, well, no more guns. Good start at, you know, hiding it. Is a good sign but I am flaring and luckily the flares do their job and that was lucky and I'm pushing it Sim launch at 12 o'clock and that was me running out of fire or at least on that pod and so I didn't launch This time I'm trying to be sneaky like coming over the hill from a new direction. Kind of. Overflying the target's always the best idea. Either way, I get a mission complete for that. But yeah, that was one BTR, which I'd normally eat for breakfast. And as you can see, I've become a little holier in the process. Had to pop the gear early, common hydraulics went. Excellent first attempt, it'll buff up. Second flight out. This time I'm choosing to go, assist with the convoy. Normally this mission is restricted, just for pines, UEs, etc. A Vispa, fork. But since I'm effectively a bad hind in this case situation, I think it's okay. And them's the good guys, the convoy I'm supposed to be protecting. And them's trace of fire. Leading to unknown targets. Looks like everyone down there is cleared out, so now I'm just scouting the road ahead. Now, even in gun side mode, this scouting part could or probably should be done on Cajun Schwal 
without unguided weapons selected, so I can slew around without focusing on steering the aircraft to do so. If I wasn't on a mission to fly this as the hind, then after scouting with slewing I could laze to get that ra right ranging and then dive into the already solid firing solution for the unguided weapons and have a better picture of the target and threats there. But either way, if I just wanted to restrict myself by hinding it, you know, with what you could do with the Rodruga and a second seater. In this case, I'm just running in a blind, and I don't have a good idea what is there to shoot back at me. As you can tell, I'm not too magical with my smooth motions to deliver rockets nicely. I might also be having the incorrect rocket solution here. Granted, this is a small vehicle, but ew, my skills are lacking here. And if a flying target is always a magical idea. I read you. No, no, I read you. Oops, that was my fault. Uh, copy, Volk. I'm inbound to pick up a uh, down pilot in your area. Uh, are there any hostiles by the blue smoke? I'll need to check. I'm busy assisting with the convoy, but I'm hiding it, so to speak. Definitely hostiles on the road. Trying to acquire blue smoke. I see blue smoke. That should be clear, but I'll check. I see your pilot. I'm seeing what looks like two buses drive past, school buses. Copy, that means it should be safe enough for me for land. Uh, thank you.
following the traces. And fine, it just didn't need me, I guess. Token shot into the wreck there. Say that I did something. Sorry, I saw a UE land. Oh, I, I didn't even hear that the uh, that you notified me of a UE landing. I didn't. I figured it was you, and I was circling. Only AP ammo left, and I don't really want to use a Vicar on that. Seems wasteful, so... RTB. No, no, Falk. Go ahead. I need to go and rearm. I'll be back. Copy, I'll try to provide cover for the con. In the meantime. Yes, I'm ball sighting my weapons, so I'm not full K50 effectiveness, I'm a little more like a MIE 24. Got it. Third time out after rearming. Small degree of scoping around without ground stabilization is still very high in the Rodruga. I do need it right now just to get a sense of who not to shoot. And there's one other friendly in the AO. And this would be effectively the same as me checking on a map, or sorry, checking on a radio, trying to find out where the good guys are and what their situation is. Other than the fact that just the message top right that says they're rolling, apparently. That, however, is a bad guy. A little Cobra vehicle lying in wait. Hell no, bro. Now, looking at the IT-23 after it recalculates the gun sight, instead of the HUD, is disconcerting. And unfortunately on the HUD out the cockpit, I can't really see this guy right now. But I do want to get in some early shots, because it is a partially dangerous vehicle to me. Not sure what's happening with the graphics there. And this is so different from just murdering it by now with the same cannon from further out. With automatic tracking, I mean.
solely coordinated flight. And I'm running in a wee bit close here. Spray and pray. And I lose the HUD as a result. Now without the HUD I'm using the Schwal only to try and locate this. And it turns out I'm fixating on the wrong road here. And here's an example of why those tracer rounds are useful. I'm just correcting my aim based off that stream of fire rather than chasing the target on the screen. Finally. That's a this but unfortunately I'm not in comms with that UE, so yeah, I get a bit close to the fireworks. The New Year's lights. I do pop up some flares just to avoid a collision. Just hunting those over G warnings this session. Poor aircraft. So, how to do this? Again, instead of just uh, hovering, I'm not hovering, I'm flying forwards orbits most of the time. Doing attack runs and hopefully breaking away early before I get shot at. What's key in this, of course, is to have a very trimmed flight path before you go in. If you're still wobbly and trying to get your pepper on target, it's not gonna be turning out that great. As you can see here, often enough. Still need to practice these unguided weapon skills. I'm too used to the luxury of the Vichras, which can guide in even if you're maybe 5 degrees off target. And same with the cannon. The moving cannon is amazing. Especially if you combine it with the helmet sight and helmet sight slew locking. Not good. I have the speed, but I've just run out of flares on the left and I haven't switched the right side yet. Those rotor bits flying and the shakes mean a safe landing or an auto is unlike. Anyway, this was a fun little experiment, but...
I don't know if I want to try it again with the shark. I'll probably just use the hind rather than hinding the shark. But maybe you can do better. Either way, convoy safe. Mission accomplished. This is Volk. Cheers.